I would just like a general sense, because given the contentious atmosphere in Congress right now, I vote Republican, I vote you, but I'm not proud of Republicans, I'm not proud of Democrats. The nation is burning, yeah. and they're thinking around, and people are getting very upset with this. Can you give us any hope this, well, this afternoon that we can move forward and actually solve some problems in Congress? Yeah, and, and we'll talk, uh, yes, is there hope? Um, and I'll read, uh, I'll read the email, uh, sorry, the email I got from Eric Cantor literally half an hour ago um, where he was talking about the Biden group conversations. And, um, and, I, and I want to touch again on, on sort of four divides that I see. So I want to set, I want to set the table because I think this is a very important this is a very important issue. And we've got some frustrated people down here who just think it's going to be you know, rhetoric or whatever. And I, I'm definitely trying to move beyond uh, just that. So, yes, ma'am. Hi, Bill. I'm Pat Meyer, and I've been working with John, and um, we voted for you. Um, and thank you for coming. I was the one who went to your office and proposed how to help Social Security. I worked with thousands of people, and I left you at the office today, and I have some of these people here. Okay. And um, there's a lot of people that worked on it, and they have the real accurate figures. So many people about Social Security have told many things. If it was rated, if it wasn't, when Medicare stopped. So I'm leaning on you to look at that bill, because I'd be proud if it came out of LaSalle or Holland, Michigan. So it is here, and if any people want some information, uh, it's been looked at, and it's real good. Okay. Thank you Great. very much. No, thank you. Appreciate it. And we have a question right back there. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm making you house. No, that's all right. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Lee Demeester uh, from Holland, and one comment and one question. My comment is that many of us don't feel any confidence in Washington. And I would just like to see a one-year moratorium on spending. I don't care how you get the rest of the money for doing anything, but spending should be stopped for you just to prove that you could do something. Otherwise, it just keeps, keeps, keeps going. The question I have is what is our business in Libya. Now, what is the strategic importance of the country? Why don't we pay attention to where our friends are in the Middle East and promote, you know, not the brotherhood, but some real de democratic movements? Okay, right. thank you. And we'll, we'll get to that. I'm digging here for a second because I've got, I've got the Kucinich resolution here. That, uh, that I want to read. It's very short, so we can, we can, we can tackle that in a second as well. Yep. I'm John Kaiser. Uh, our president has 32 stars and uh, with an average, um, about, uh, average of pay of about $151,000. Um, are they having any influence on what legislation is passed? Uh, the, the short answer to that is yes. I mean, they do. I mean, they're, they're driving a lot of, uh, a lot of those, whether it's Consumer Financial Protection Bureau or others, right there in the back. Hello. I have a question about the teachers. Um, my granddaughter said just the other day, Mom, my two very best teachers were pink slipped. And um, I was a teacher all my life, but I couldn't go back to teaching, not the kind of paperwork that my daughter has to do on every student. A couple years ago, she had 13 special needs students in her class besides the others. And it's reports, reports, reports. She said, when am I going to get time to teach? And um, I just feel uh, we have a bad feeling about teachers because of the unions. But there are so many of them who are just working their heads off, trying to do the best for their students and love them dearly, all of them. But um, I just think we have to take uh, a new look at the teachers and um, the new teachers as well, the young teachers. Right. Yes, ma'am. I am very concerned about the proposed cuts to the safety net and poverty focused <coughs> foreign assistance. I think these cuts are immoral and I think they will backfire. That's my comment. Okay. Now I have a question. <coughs> I think there's an area where maybe we can work together. The area of tax expenditures. Most tax expenditures go to the middle class and the upper class. They are, in, a, in essence, kind of hidden spending. And I think we really need to look at those, get them out of the tax code, make them more explicit so that they get the scrutiny that they deserve. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. 
I hear here a lot of <coughs> concern for various aspects in our federal government. I heard of someone earlier, but correct, correctly, anyway, that the country's on fire. And I think economically and many other ways, spiritually and so on, we, we are on fire. Our, our house is burning. And I also hear a lot of concern about, well, you talk about gas prices, uh, health care prices, and so on. And all these things are very valid and a very real concern. But I think they are, they are <coughs> symptoms of underlying problem. And that's, that's plagued our country and many other civilizations for a long time. And that is, whenever you've got a, uh, a banking system <coughs> that will box the currency and print it up out of thin air, uh, then, then unscrupulous government officials like that very much because that gives them money to, to dole it out to their constituency so they can get reelected, and that's their some of them that's their primary concern. I guess my question is, what is your what is your position on on doing something about this? Uh, the Federal Reserve, for instance, yeah. there are some are saying that that it's it's the uh, it's the uh, it's the curse on our country, and I would agree with that. Uh, and also then the national debt. Are we going to do something about this? Are we going to just talk about it? Uh, are we going to, are you taking the position that we're, we're going to put, we're not going to vote for that increase? Uh, I would support that very much because nothing else is going to get their attention. There's going to be a lot of talk and nothing else. It will just be extended one more time. And I believe it's been extended, what, 50, 60 times in the last uh, 60 years? It just keeps on going. There's no, lim no limit to it. Yeah, it's, it, it's gone nowhere but up. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got. Yeah. Last kind of last. Let's hit this last one, and then because uh, I uh, and I understand. Uh, last time we we got a little short. We we're supposed to be 45 minutes. We ended up going an hour and 15 minutes. I was a little late for my uh, uh, for my uh, luncheon that I spoke at uh, up in the ski. But, so we've got about an hour uh, today as well, uh, and I hope you'll understand. Uh, I'm, I'm gone a fair amount, so I'm trying to get back home to make sure that uh, my, my daughter gets to ballet and we've got some family things that are happening, and, uh, and so hopefully we'll, we'll make sure we'll keep doing this. We'll keep, we'll keep coming back. Go ahead. All right. Okay. If, assuming you work your way 